that it was heading for Cuba. And he said in his song, like a boomerang, it turned back and came straight for Belize. Its visit 60 years ago wiped away many of the wooden structures that constituted the Belize city landscape. And a lot of harrowing stories have come out of the weather phenomenon named Hati, a name that is permanently retired from the hurricane list because of its devastating blow upon us. It left survivors like Nick Pollard and Catherine Zelaya with memories that can be lessons for others. When the surge came, the building shook. I was the first one. That was very scary. Wasn't that a cement building? That's a concrete steel building. But mm -hmm. remember, we are dealing with a category five storm with heavy winds that brought in huge seas. And then it hit again. And when the second one hit, the building really trembled and everybody was so scared and praying. The most frightening part came when I realized that the house was going to collapse on us. My mom was praying really hard. And I literally remember the walls coming down and my mom and this woman scampering to shove us under a table. And the house literally collapsed on us. Dave Reimer and his family had just arrived in Spanish Lookout from Mexico. And because they had no radio, found out about the hurricane when they had to divert from Belize City with their produce. And we got on top of that bridge at mile uh, six over the canal. Uh, there was water all around us, so we felt like we were right in the middle of the ocean. I had never seen anything uh, as rough as that. And most houses were, a lot of them were completely gone and some were just a little bit partly there. Nick Pollard says he discovered just how much damage the storm had inflicted when one could walk on debris floating on flood waters as if it was the earth itself. When I looked down, the water was all the way up to the level of the first floor. But the thing is that it wasn't only water. The debris, the debris in the river was so thick, so thick that one could walk across the debris without thinking it was that bad. Catherine Zelaya said that Hattie left her with a lingering question she still cannot answer. How on earth did we survive, you know, knowing that Hattie was such a strong storm? And, and the water was rising, right? It was rising. I remember that. I remember it was rising. Because I, whenever we felt we would feel it, you know, like maybe at our chest or so, my mom would, would be shifting us continuously. She kept shifting and shifting and moving wood. And it's a good thing we were small children, you know, but still, I, I, I don't know how we survived, honestly. Reporting for News 5, I'm Marion Ali.